Leos. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. Hello, oldies and newbies. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, viewing, commenting, all that stuff. And thank you for checking out Instagram where I do uh, daily energy reads. So please check that out if you haven't checked that out yet. Um, so for my newbies who might not be familiar with my videos, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. Keep in mind, this is energy that you could be experiencing directly or someone that you're connected to energetically or for someone in your environment. It is energy. It can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Then we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot reading. So Leos, Ooh, a lot of fire for you, which I love for Leos. I love that for you. They actually showed me a phoenix, which is usually very scorpionic. That's a very scorpionic thing. But Leos, it is also fire first and foremost, which is you. You are the sun. Leos, I feel like you are rising. You're resurrecting yourself or a part of yourself. Um, whether that's resurrecting a relationship or just something within you. I feel like something within you has been not dead. It's not the right. I mean, I guess that's what a phoenix would be, right? Dead. Okay. All right. Fine. We're going there. We're going there. Leo's a part of you has been dead or dormant. We'll say dormant. I like dormant better. Has been dormant or not fed for, for quite some time. And now it's rising and you're hungry. I got such a hungry energy from you guys. If you're dieting, you're, that's probably why you're hungry. Um, but I, I honestly, guys, it was like such a deep, animalistic, motivated hunger. And I could feel it coming from your solar and your sacral. Okay, so keeping that in mind, Leos, it could just be something that you have a lot of confidence about, something that it's like, oh, I'm alive again. I'm alive again, and I know what I want. I know what I want to sink my teeth into. It really feels like you've been deprived, Leo, and maybe that you're just coming online to that, online to that, that you're you're just coming to awareness of how hungry you are for whatever it is you've been deprived of. Some of you, this is sexual. You got to be honest with all that sacral energy. Some of you, it is sexual, and I definitely felt that, okay? And what does a lion do when they're hungry? They hunt. Leos, you're hunting. You know what you're hungry for? You're on the hunt for it. And how does a cat hunt? It seeks targets its prey, it stalks its prey, and then it goes in for the kill. Leos, a lot of you, I feel like are already in the stalking phase. Some of you are still seeking because you're hungry. It's like, I can't get off of that like hunger, that primal fucking hunger where it's like, nothing's going to get in the way of me and my prey. <laughs> Nothing. Um, Leos, it's very intense, but I really, really like that energy, okay? So that's the energy I was picking up for you guys for this time period. Keep in mind, guys, even though it's stamped as you know, the 12th to the 21st. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're supposed to watch it. So just keep that in mind and time is not linear. So this, this reading could apply to you months from now or, you know, something that happened to you months ago. So just keep that in mind, okay? I used to do a pre-shuffle session and I don't anymore, but I felt very compelled to keep this pre-shuffle out here for you guys. It's only four cards, so I'm gonna show them to you. Nine of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, Nine of Swords in Reverse, Gemini energy. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Then we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, I know, guys, I know. Scorpionic energy and the Star in Reverse Aquarian energy. This is a very depressive energy, Leo. Very depressive. Very depressive, very sad, feeling very much at a loss. I feel like this is the party that's been deprived. Whatever it is, because for all you, it's going to be different, but it's just really speaking to that deprivation you've been experiencing. And with Nine of Swords in Reverse and the Queen of Cups, this is you waking up right? Waking up to realizing how deprived you've been and how hungry you are. Leos, I gotta be honest, some of you are hungry for love. Oh, some of you are, are, are truly just hungry for emotional nourishment and feeling loved and feeling cared about. And Leos, you know, I've talked about this with you guys before. You guys have very big hearts. You're very generous and you're very loyal. And sometimes you tend to give a hell of a lot more than you receive in return. And Leos, I think you're realizing that. Like, I've given so much and I'm just so hungry. <laughs> Like you had a plate of love and instead of feeding it to yourself, you gave it to everyone else. And it's like, I'm still hungry. I didn't actually get to eat any love. I didn't get to eat anything. What the fuck? You know, Leo. So keep that in mind. Some of you are just realizing you're really hungry for love. Okay. For that emotional nourishment. All right. So let's go ahead, Leo's and get further into your reading here. Keep in mind, guys, these are very general readings. They are not going to apply to everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. Sometimes it's going to be you. Sometimes it won't be you. And if it's not your week, that's totally okay. As I said before, um, it can resonate, but if the roles are reversed, they're just reversed. If it still resonates, it still resonates. You know who you are in the story. These reads are for thousands of people, and they do resonate for thousands of people. So not all of you will... Um, it, it's not going to resonate for all of you as directed, as read, 
as directly read. So if it's reversed, it's reversed. Also guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. So let's go ahead and get into this, okay? Hold on, sorry, had to be a girl. Okay, all right, having a weird hair day. Okay, any messages for my Leos regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any messages for my Leos? Any messages for my Leos regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Why are they giving me this phrase? I never liked this phrase because I'm a very visual person. And so, so when anyone says anything to me or describes a story, I like really get the visuals, probably also because I'm very intuitive and psychic myself. So when someone tells me something, I just see it. Uh, the phrase, um, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, hate that phrase hate that phrase but they're giving me that phrase leo just interesting to me um because that's a that that phrase is basically pertaining to like you know if you if you're trying to like resolve a situation or get rid of something it's like don't do it hastily thank you hastily you might be too eager leo because you might just be too hungry okay so just keep that in mind any messages for my leos Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Okay, that feels good. Any messages for Leos? Any messages for Leos regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Feeling that solar and sacral energy again. Any messages for Leos? Any messages for Leos? Okay, I don't, I don't know why they're telling me this, but they're telling me 7th house and 8th house. 7th house and 8th house. I don't know why that's coming through. They're, okay, for some of you, there might be stuff happening in your 7th and 8th house, but that's dependent on your rising. So just check your chart and see what's going on in your 7th and 8th house and see uh, and check planetary shifts right now and aspects and see if there's anything going on in those houses for you, okay? But that's going to be coming in really strong for you guys. 7th house and 8th house, that's relationships, that's sex, uh, secrets, death as well uh art it's also art just just giving you information those aspects those parts of your life may be highly affected during this time or, or for this read for those that resonates with this any other messages okay there we go it's so funny the cards didn't come out till i stopped talking <laughs> we have the three of pentacles capricorn energy Ooh, we got the wheel of fortune leo jupiter energy i like seeing that and then three of wands in reverse oh that's interesting aries oh Aries energy. That's weird. I feel like I got knocked out of my hand for a second. So you got two threes here. Very synchronistic. We're not done pulling cards, but just right off the bat, I'm getting, it's like something's finally working. Something's finally working. Something's finally chugging along. Machines are working. Things are going. Leo, I feel like this is part of what you've been hunting. So a lot of you've caught your prey already, whatever your prey has been, whether it's just a goal, an idea, a job, or a person. For some of you, I really feel like you've just been, you've been really craving love and emotional nourishment. But this is basically saying, with that Three of Pentacles, something is finally working, something's finally coming together. And Wheel of Fortune, things are moving forward, things are moving ahead, but Three of Wands in reverse, uh, I, it really feels like you had to take the action to make that happen. Because Three of Wands in reverse says it's like, it's already here. Sorry, sorry. Meh. <laughs> basically says, it's already here. What you've been waiting for has finally arrived. But I feel like you took the action to make it arrive. You understand what I'm saying? You went and caught your prey, essentially, is what I'm getting at. All right, let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Leos regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Ooh, very nice, Leo. Any other messages for Leos regarding love? September 12th to the 21st. Okay, now we've got... We have King of Pentacles, Taurian energy, could also be Earth or Air, and that is, ooh, the Six. The Six of Swords in reverse. Oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Aquarian energy. Yeah, Leos, I love this energy for you. I love this King of Pentacles energy because you, things are finally working. You got things going, and you're headed towards stability. You're really focused on your stability right now. For some, like I said, this is just purely work-focused, that maybe you just feel like something a big party has come alive at work again. Um... Or that you've been really hungry for stability, hungry for money, hungry for your job, or hungry to just move ahead in the corporate ladder, whatever, what have you. You've stalked your prey. A lot of you have caught your prey. But Six of Swords in the verse tells me there's still some worries in the back of your head. 
I'm getting concern actually. I'm getting concern in the back of your head. Almost like it was too easy to catch that prey. Yeah, yeah. You're like, there's something about this that was too easy. But Leo's, if you're really hungry, sometimes you just make shit happen, right? <laughs> right? If you're really hungry, you go and make sure you get that food, right? But yeah, you're concerned. I can feel it. You're concerned. Why can't I pick this up? It was too easy. Interesting. Overall energy, the world. Ooh, Leo. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, neutrals, Capricorn here. You could be traveling internationally, but not necessarily. But I do feel a whole new start to this once you catch your prey. But you're still doubting something. Underneath that, interesting, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Wow. And Judgment in reverse. You're not trusting this, Leo. You're not trusting this. Without a doubt, you're not trusting this. You just feel like it's too easy. It was... It was too easy. Yeah, I keep getting that. It was too easy. It was too easy. But you don't trust it. You really don't trust it. Oh, this is interesting, Leo. Let's break this down a little bit. Let's look at the Three of Pentacles and see what's actually working, what your prey, what your prey is about. I'm going to use right away to clarify. Talking about the Three of Pentacles for Leo. the three of pentacles for leo regarding love september 12th to the 21st time with the three of pentacles for leo time with the three of pentacles for leo regarding love september 12th to the 21st time with the three of pentacles for leo time with the Nine of Cups. Leo, this is looking beautiful. This is wish fulfillment. This is being really, really freaking happy. Uh, Piscean energy. This, yeah, you wanted, you, okay, you caught your prey. You're happy. You're happy, Leo. Why are you still doubting this? Again, I'm hearing it was too easy. You're, this is you with a full belly, okay? <laughs> this is not someone who's hungry. This is someone who's got more than enough more than enough you're very very happy with what's happening you're very happy with how things are going things are going smoothly i feel like this is energy that hasn't hit you yet i feel like oh, for a lot of you this is energy that um you're you're going into because i feel like you guys are hungry right now so i feel like this is upcoming energy now we have death in reverse interesting scorpionic energy why do i feel like you're mulling over shit why do i feel like you're mulling over shit this is that resurrecting energy like i said that rising that phoenix right scorpio and this is quite literally opposite of over and dead this is risen rising right <laughs> risen rising whatever <laughs> however you conjugate that uh this is you rising back to who you are waking up parts of yourself leo i think that's why you're also kind of like you might be a little taken aback by this whatever your prey is because it's clearly making you really happy like really freaking happy it's making you really happy and it's reviving parts of yourself that have been really dormant or just not fed in a very long time. And along with that comes emotional nourishment here, okay? Some of you, this is a person. Others, it's a job opportunity, whatever it is for you. It's working out so well that you're just like, I've been deprived for so long that you're just not used to things working. Interesting. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. I do feel some travel involved in this, Leo, especially with the Three of Wands and the Six of Swords. Three of Wands indicates that something was really far away or that something you felt was out of your grasp and you clearly have it now, which is why it's in reverse. The Six of Swords is also a traveling energy. So is the world. So is the world. You could be traveling to get your prey, whatever it is, whatever your prey is. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles for Leo. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Oh, Leo. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles for Leo. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys. Tell me more about the Three of Pentacles for Leo. Oh, wow. Not what I expected. Okay, Leo, you got a lot of funky stuff going on here. It was looking so damn good, too. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then Justice in reverse. Leo, Libra energy. Leo, it's like, oh God, Leo, don't do this to yourself. I almost feel like I've got some Leos here where it's like, this is just too good. 
This is too good to be true. There's something wrong. There's got to be something wrong with this. There's something wrong with this. <laughs> There's something wrong with this opportunity or this person or what There's something wrong. There's something wrong. It's it's a classic case of this is so goddamn perfect. What what's what's hiding behind the closed door? What's what's the skeleton in this person's closet? Uh, what's what's the catch? What's the catch twenty two? Leo, stop it. <laughs> You have the world on the Wheel of Fortune. Stop it, okay? Ten of Pentacles. You guys know what that is. That is blessings. That is ultimate security, stability, also home and family. You could have been buying, you could be buying a house. Honestly, you could be buying a house or working towards that. Three of Pentacles to the ten. That's a huge ass jump. That's a lot of progress. But Justice in Reverse, you feel like there's something wrong with it. Overall energy, we have the Sun in Reverse, Leo energy. It's like, <laughs> you're happy, but you're not fully like throwing yourself into it. You feel like there's something wrong. You feel like there's something wrong. Okay, we're looking at this justice card. Leo, you're... I love you, Leos, but now you're making me a little upset, okay? <laughs> if, if, you're, if things are working well and you're happy and you're getting your blessings, sometimes you just gotta trust that, you know? Oh, sometimes you just gotta trust that, all right? So let's look at justice in reverse. I'll use legacy. Use legacy for this one. Leos. Tell me about justice in reverse. Oh, you know, for some of you, like I said, I was getting travel. Some of you could be moving from your house. Some of you could be moving from your home to a new home or a new city because you feel like it's more stable because wherever you are now, you feel like it's very imbalanced. That could definitely be the case for some of you. Okay, that could definitely be the case for some of you. Tell me about this justice in reverse. If that's the case, Leo, I get it. Okay, if that's the case, I understand. Tell me about justice in reverse. But I really feel like you're coming into some really great stuff. And it's like, again, you feel alive. You feel like you've been like just resurrected. Enjoy that. Enjoy that feeling, Leo. Tell me about justice in reverse for Leo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Sorry, guys. Oh, you didn't see that. Okay, good. Fell down my shirt. <laughs> uh, Ten of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. Okay, so you... Okay. Yeah, Leo, you're ending a cycle here, very clearly. You're ending a cycle and you're coming into a new one, without a doubt. And there's pain associated with this. Yeah, some of you are definitely moving homes. Some of you are definitely moving homes or moving cities or getting away from family because of maybe some a betrayal. I'm getting a bit of a betrayal energy. And some of you are really just not trusting the opportunity that you're coming into, even though because it's so good. Because it's so good and it's so easy, some of you are not trusting it because it's like, I've been betrayed before. <laughs> I've been backstabbed before. But you're definitely ending a cycle here. Tell me more about justice in reverse. Some of you, some of you have risen like the phoenix into happiness because you did suffer a betrayal of some kind um, in your family or from if you're married. With justice in reverse and ten of pentacles, that is kind of divorce energy here. And with ten of swords in reverse, I feel betrayal with that. Some of you had to rise. Some of you had to rise. And part of that sad, dormant energy was from having to suffer this betrayal. Okay? But that's only for some of you. Tell me about justice in reverse. Ew. We have the Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Why do I feel like this is someone you're running away from? Because it is. Okay. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> Sometimes they get sassy with me. They're like, because it is. <laughs> I'll add to null and shit. Anyway. Yeah. Leo's, for some, you were dealing with the Queen of Wands energy. Male or female doesn't matter. It's an energy. You know, this is so weird. I was feeling this in Aries, too. This almost feels like a predator. I was feeling this, oh, in the Aries partner reading for Patreon. I was feeling a predation kind of energy, and I'm feeling that with this. I'm feeling that with this. Okay, I see what's going on here. Leo, for those where this is just like an endeavor or a business opportunity or you're just, you're working on something because you feel alive again, you've been resurrected and you feel like you're getting your 10 of pentacles, but you're, you're worried that it's not gonna work out because some of you are sensing that you might be dealing with someone who doesn't have your best interest at heart. Yeah, which is why you're still concerned. And also as a king of pentacles, you're concerned about your money. Leo, some of you are worried that you're dealing with someone who's just out for your money. So be mindful of that. That's for some of you. Others, this is someone who you were dealing with that betrayed you and backstabbed you and you got away from that person 
and it made you feel alive again. You were able to be yourself and happy in who you are because you got away from this person. And it's a work in progress because the sun is in reverse, right? So you're still chasing down more and more of your happiness. So just take that as it resonates for whoever this is for. So just to reiterate, for some, uh, you've risen from the ashes like a phoenix, risen from the ashes because you got away from a spouse or a family member or someone at your work who betrayed you, who definitely betrayed you. Others, you feel like you're on the brink of getting a Ten of Pentacles energy, but you're just not trusting it because you're picking up on someone who might only be interested in your money, okay? All right, let's see. Yeah, you're. I feel like you're definitely protecting your assets. Look how he's carrying that chest. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're definitely wanting to protect your assets here. Tell me about justice in reverse. Keep in mind this could be vice versa. Tell me about justice in reverse. For Leo. Tell me about justice in reverse for Leo regarding love. I just read mesmerize. Mesmerize. Hold on. Get some water. Mm. Five of Pentacles in reverse Taurian energy. I heard mesmerize associated with this person. For those of you where you're moving away from this person because they backstabbed you and now you're happy and you're rising like the Phoenix. Um, I think you felt very mesmerized by this person. Uh, they, they could have been a bit of a smooth talker, but this is someone who knows how to attract people because they're very attractive. They know how to bring people in. And so, Leo, you were, you were betrayed by this person and now you're moving away from them, trying to protect your assets here, okay? For some, this is definitely a spouse that you're trying to get away from. <coughs> and Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, they, they're definitely at a loss here. It's like, I really feel like this person's like looking at you like money bags. It's hard to not see that. <clears throat> Damn it. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, I don't know why. That just reminded me. Um, Allie from Allie's Tarot. I don't know if she watches Leo readings or not, but you guys should check her out. She's really awesome. I, I need to email her back. If you're watching this, I'm going to email you. So sorry. Things went a little crazy. Okay. Anyway, Leo's back to you. So some of you, this was someone you got away from because they were after your money. And they betrayed you because of it. Could have even tried to steal your money in the process of that. Um, I don't like the word gold digger, but that's kind of how it feels. Like someone is just dependent on you for finances and they kind of pulled you in and you woke up to that. And now that you pulled away, you're waking up to who you are again and like parts of yourself that were dormant and you're very happy about it. Very happy about it moving forward and things are starting to run more smoothly in your life, but you're still concerned in protecting your assets, okay? Others of you... Um, you are coming into this place where you're happy again and like you feel like yourself again, parts you're waking up and you're hungry for more, you're hungry for stability. A lot of you are focused on your money here. And also for some of you, building a family is what I'm getting, like building a legacy. Thank you, legacy, 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 like legacy. Some of you really focus on building a legacy, but it's just so easy that you're like, what's really wrong with this? What's the catch 22? Some of you are dealing with someone where there is a catch 22. So be mindful of that because you have been you know, hurt before, you've been betrayed, betrayed before. And so you're wondering about this person, you're wondering if they really have your best interest at heart or if they're after your money. For some of you, both of these resonate where you were dealing with someone who was a gold digger and now you have a new opportunity with someone and you're like, are they just after my money too? Overall energy, judgment in verse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. You're terrified of making the same mistake twice. You don't want to make the same mistake twice. And it's like, if something's too easy, there's a reason it's too easy. That's how some of you are thinking. Just be mindful, Leo, because some of you aren't dealing with the same individual that you were dealing with before. You know what I mean? And that's the problem when bad shit happens to us. It's like sometimes we project our past onto the new situation or new people. Are some of you dealing with a snake or gold digger? You could be. You got to use your intuition with this, okay? Some of you aren't. I got to be honest. Some of you where this is a new situation and you're being reminded of what you had already been through, not not all of these queen of wands for you are snakes gold diggers what have you some of them are but if this is a new situation a new person i would say for the most of you it's not that they're not after your money like these other people person was and some of you it's you're just getting out of a situation where you were dealing with a gold digger to some extent and now you're finally happy and like yourself again okay all right, so let's move it forward now that we're 24 minutes in. Let's look at the three of wands in a verse because this is basically like having an opportunity you've been wanting. And I feel like you chased it down, Leo. I gotta be honest. I feel like you chased it down. I like the lion that you are. All right, gonna use Gilded Tarot for this one. And then we're gonna move into this. You being really protective of yourself and concerned with that six of swords. So we have the three of wands in a verse. 
of the three of wands in reverse. Queen of the three of wands in reverse for Leo regarding love. Talking about three of wands in reverse for Leo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. about three of wands in reverse for Leo regarding love. Talking about three of wands in reverse for Leo. Talking about three of wands in reverse for Leo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Ooh, page of wands in reverse, my bad news card. Yeah, you don't feel right about this. There's something about this that's really unsettling to you. Oh, I just felt it. I just got queasy. Uh, tell me about three of wands in reverse. Tell me about three of wands in reverse for Leo. Regarding love. There, wow. Hanged man, Piscean energy, and that ten of pentacles again. Virgo energy, legacy. The legacy that you want to build for yourself. Yeah. Oh, God, Leo. Again, to reiterate, sorry, it's not like a broken record. I just want to make sure you guys understand where we're at. Some of you are just coming out of a marriage, a relationship, a business relationship, a situation where you were dealing with someone who only had money on their mind and they didn't have your best interests at heart. You got out of that. You're feeling pretty damn good. Um, others of you, you just you've dealt with situations like that before. And now that you're feeling good, you're you're dealing with someone new or a new situation where you could have a ten of pentacles, whether that's family and love and romance or legacy and business or both. And you're not trusting it. Some of you have a reason to not trust it because some of you are dealing with very similar energies of gold digging, selfish taking energies. But others, you're dealing with someone legitimate and you're just worried because you can't get the past out of your head. But either way, again, this is you focus on, on your legacy. You have that in your head. And the fact that this opportunity is here for those where there's a new opportunity coming in, you just don't trust it. You really, really, really just do not fucking trust it. Talking about three of wands in reverse. Talking about three of wands in reverse for Leo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. And like I said, for some of you, that worry is, is valid. And for some, it's not. It's up to you to decide which group you fall in, okay? Now we have a king of wands in reverse. <laughs> Leo energy. Could also be a uh, fire or air. Look at you, Look, whoever this person was in the past, or this person that you're dealing with now. For for most of you, I feel like this has already happened to you at least once before, which is why you're so worried about it happening again. But either way, definite soulmate energy. And keep in mind, guys, I say this all the time. Soulmates are not always supposed to be people you end up with. They're also supposed to be people who just teach you lessons. And you learn from this person. For those where you got, you got out of a gold digging situation, you learned. <laughs> you learned. Which is why you're concerned. And again, I don't blame you, Leo. But the fact that you're in this position tells me that you're not very grounded here. You're not very grounded. You're not thinking clearly. I'm actually hearing impulsive. Impulsive. You might be acting impulsively because you're concerned and you're a little triggered. But keep in mind, Leo, you were hungry for this for a reason and you hunted down your prey for a reason. Okay? You just got to get grounded so you can make the right decisions here. Overall energy, four swords. That's perfect. Libra energy. This is taking a time out. This is taking a break to get enlightened about the situation. Is this person I'm dealing with just like the gold digger from the past? Is this person I'm dealing with going to screw me over like all those other people in business did in the past? Are they different? Are they legitimate or are they not? Take that time out to figure it out, okay? Nothing wrong with that. And I feel like you might do that, Leo, in this mode with the King of Pentacles and the Six of Swords in because this is you protecting yourself, protecting your assets, protecting anything that's precious to you, but being still very concerned in the process. Take this time, Leo. I wouldn't be surprised if we get Bear Spirit in the Spirit Animal Pool, but we'll see. Take this break. Pull back from the situation a little bit. It might be working just fine, but it's like, you know what? I don't feel comfortable, so I need to figure out how to get comfortable with whatever it is. Whether you, you realize you're more comfortable being solo and not dealing with someone, right? Or realizing that you, to be comfortable, you know, coming to terms with, okay, this person is legitimate. Or, oh shit, they're not legitimate, get the fuck away from me, right? You have to get comfortable and you can only do that by becoming enlightened about the situation and figuring out the real truth here in your particular situation. But let's look at this. Let's look at the Six of Swords in reverse because that's your concern. See if we can get anything else off of here. Uh, steampunk. Let's do steampunk. <clears throat> Talking about Six of Swords in reverse. 
Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. For Leo. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse for Leo. Regarding love. Oh, I did just hear Don't Let History Repeat Itself. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Leo. Oh. Oh. Leo. Sorry, they're bringing my attention to something. I just got to download. For some of you, this person screwed you over in the past. And now they're, they're back. For some of you, this is a true Lazarus situation. Leo's, Leo's, Leo's. The reason you're so worried is because this person did screw you over. For those in that situation where you're dealing with literally the same person, a Lazarus, why wouldn't they do it again? Maybe that's something you need to ask yourself. I'm just saying, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Is there a reason they wouldn't do it again? Like any tangible, legitimate reason they wouldn't? Just say. Okay? All right. So let's keep it going. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. For Leo, regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. For my Leos. Ooh. Yeah. Old crimes of the past. Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Pretty sure this is Moon in Aquarius, to be specific. Uh, yeah, you're really fucking worried that it's going to happen again. <laughs> That's your biggest concern. Am I going to get screwed over again by a different person? And for some of you, the same person. Oh, Leo. If you're dealing with the same individual who wants to, like, go at this again, whatever this opportunity is, business or love or whatever, Leo's, the fact you have so much concern about it, I mean... Again, it's up to you. You're masters of your own life. You all make your own decisions. Is there a reason they wouldn't? They wouldn't. Is there a reason they wouldn't? Tell you about Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you don't know what to do. Two of Wands, Aries energy. You can't decide if the you can't decide if whoever you're dealing with, Leo, is legitimate or not. Whether they're a new person or it's the same person back from the dead. Okay, you really can't decide. You can't decide and you're concerned and you're uh, definitely you're worried about your assets. I think a lot of you were dealing with someone who was after your money or who was dependent on you for money. And you're just like, I don't know. I don't know about you. I don't know. Tell me more about the Six of Swords in reverse. You're going to have to go within on this one, Leo. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Six of Swords in reverse for Leo regarding love. overall energy oh i love it the king of swords aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra this is being clear-headed this is having clarity having sanity seeing things for what they are and being very smart and strategic about going about this situation i love this energy for you because you're concerned because you you realize you know what there's a reason i have to be concerned here for some of you like i said if it's, well no if you're dealing with the same person who's back at their old tricks you already know leo you already know okay uh, for those where this is a new person, you just have to get clear-headed to 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 basically decide, are they like that old person or are they going to do right by me, okay? So different scenarios for different people, decide where you're at, but either way, Leo, you're on a whole new adventure here. And it's just about making this, this one big decision. It feels like a big decision for you because like I said, you were hungry and you caught your prey and now you're like, is this prey sick? <laughs> Is this prey really healthy? Is it going to make me sick? You know what I mean? You're, you're questioning it. Oh, that's why it was don't go ever after this hastily. That's why. That's why they were saying that. Because Leo, I think for some of you, a lot of you have gone after this prey already. Um, but I think you went after it so hastily that maybe you didn't have that time to see if your prey was sick or healthy. Okay? Uh, speaking in metaphors. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull some advice here. Any advice for Leos regarding this spread? Yeah, and if you caught this prey and things are running smoothly, like I said, it's that it's that realization that it's like, this is just too easy. Why is it too easy? For some, it's just easy because it's supposed to work. And others, it's too easy because this person knows what they're doing. Okay? Any advice for my Leos? 
Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Okay. Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? 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 Come on, Leos. <laughs> Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden, Leos? Ah, there we go. <laughs> it's a long one. Oh, squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. 57 that breaks down to a three. This is having the confidence, like I said, and I was going a lot of that solar plexus energy with you, uh, believing that you're going to make the right decision here. And Leo, I know that's hard. Deep down, a lot of you already know the answer, to be honest with you. And I say it all the time too, answers are within us and they are. But your ending is a king of swords, regardless of your gender. Your ending is a king of swords. And like I said, this can be vice versa. You know, a lot of you already know inherently the right thing to do. You just have to be confident in making the right decision, whether that's accepting this person fully and just, you know, whatever happens, happens, whether they're the same person from before or they're a newer person and they're legitimate or not legitimate. Um, and really being comfortable with your decisions here. But at the end of the day, it's like, I understand your concern, Leo, I really do. But having the confidence to really listen to your intuition, listen to your heart, listen to your mind, and really understanding what's best for you. And again, not jumping into this hastily. Something about going on with haste is really gonna kinda make things murk murkier for you. But having the confidence to really know what's best for you, okay? Let's see what else we got here. And you know, honestly, like, you can, I don't like, I don't like testing people. I don't like that energy. I don't like giving that advice. But if you're really this worried, put them to the test. You know, if you're worried that you're messing around with a gold digger or that the gold digger from the past is still a gold digger, test it out. Test it out. See how they act in certain situations. See what their expectations are. You know what I mean? Just keep an eye out for that. I'm not saying like, give them ultimatums. I'm not saying that. I'm not down for that. I'm not saying ultimatums. Um, just watch how they act. You understand what I'm saying? It's like action speaks so much louder than words. Words are very pretty. <laughs> words are pretty. Words are easy. Words are cheap, right? Actions say a hell of a lot more about someone. So just watch how they act and watch what their expectations are. Any other advice? Any other advice for my Leos? Oh, wait, that really wanted to come out. Oh, giraffe spirit. See the big picture. 29 breaking down to 11. See the big picture, Leo. Tap into the intuition so you can really see and get a perfect bird's eye view of the whole situation at hand. What this person really wants. What are they really after? What are their real expectations? What's their real intention with you? All of that stuff. And you'll be able to figure it out. Have the confidence to dig up any information you need to dig up and to see this person for who they really are. New, legitimate, not legitimate or old, or the old person. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Yeah, don't be, I just heard, don't be afraid to go there, Leo. Don't be afraid to go there. You know, and that's something else I do, I'm picking up on. Ooh, it's an awesome little overall energy, but we'll get there. Uh, Leos, if you're afraid to confront this person, that's, 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 that's kind of a red flag right? That's kind of a red flag, especially if you're dealing with the same person from the past who you felt screwed over by or betrayed by. If you're afraid to confront this person or to say something that already tells me you feel very restricted with this person and that you don't feel comfortable with this person, you don't trust this person, that's something to look at, okay? That's something to look at. Now, if this is a new person, again, I understand that's coming from just your concern of being screwed over again, but if, if they're new, you should still be able to confront them. And if they can't handle being confronted, you got your answer. But if they're going to come at you honest and basically do what they can to make you feel comfortable and within, you know, reasonable means, then you have your answer. 
Don't be afraid to confront this person, new or old, okay? Overall energy, ooh, owl spirit, you see clearly now. 43 breaking down to a seven. Oh, please focus. The, what did I say about your intuition? It's so important to have your intuition on point right now to see through bullshit or not bullshit, right? Just to be able to make that distinction. And you'll be able to, you just gotta have the confidence that you're gonna end up making the right decision for you based off of what feels right and based off of what you need for yourself, okay? All right, Leos, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I wish you guys luck in this situation. Not a fun situation to be in, but I wish you luck. Uh, don't forget to check out Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Leos. Namaste.